Hey, hi everyone. I want to do some videos on uh, my YouTube channel about pool maintenance. So, as you can see back here, I do have a swimming pool. Got a nice little sprinkler on there. And um, there's certain things you need to do. I, I've been doing my own maintenance for about three years now. My pool is absolutely perfect. Um, but there's things you need to do on a weekly basis to make sure that the pool is good. So today I'm going to just show you one of the main things that you need to do probably about once a month. Um, every two weeks, only if you have a lot of residue or dirt in your pool or people are using the pool a lot. Or every two weeks after you shock the pool, you do this before you do anything. So you have to make sure your filter is clean. So the filter is most important that you need to clean the filter in order to um, um, go ahead and start adding chemicals to the pool. This way everything is good. So I'm going to show you what the filter looks like and show you how to take it off on my particular pool my particular filter and maybe you have the same. This is a very popular brand, everybody uses it, but I'm gonna do a whole episode on pool maintenance. Hope this helps you out. Okay, so what you see here is a typical pool setup. Um, basically you have water coming out of the pool from the pump, then it comes, you know, out of the pool, goes into the pump, the pump cleans everything then it shoots it, the pump, the pump shoots everything um, out, pulls everything out with pressure. It goes through the line, it goes inside, it goes to the filter. The filter catches all the dirt, and what you get out of the filter going back into the pool, the inlet back into the pool, is normally clean. So this goes in to the filter. This is the filter, the housing for the filter. This is a Haywood filter. And then it comes out of the filter, right here, you see out. And normally it'll go right down to the thing. But what I have it doing is I have it coming out, going up this wall here. You see, follow this up this wall. And mine actually goes up into a solar pool heater that I have on the roof. On that particular line there, it goes up to the heater. The sun hits it, comes back out, goes down, and then it comes back out side. So that's how I do it. But um That'll be another video. This video particularly is on changing your pool filter. So the next thing you want to do is remove the filter. The filter is in here. And the way you remove the filter is very particular things you need to do. Step one, step two, and step three. So step one, what you do, is you come over to your, your box, wherever your box may be. You should have a, a box right by your pool. And your box should be labeled. So this particular box, I have my clock, I got everything here. But it says pool. This is my pump. So what you want to do is you want to shut your pump off. You see? No more noise. The pump is off. That's step one. Close your box. Make sure it doesn't, you know, expose. So nobody else will get into the box. The next thing you do is you go to your filter right here. There should be a little valve on the side. So what you need to do is turn this valve and let out the pressure. Okay? If you don't let out the pressure and you just go ahead and open it, the whole thing is going to explode all the pressure and throw water all over the place. So you need to remove the pressure. That's what you need to do. Leave this off for a while. Put this somewhere where you could find it. And uh, put it in the same spot all the time. This way you'll know where you put it and you can get it back. Okay? So I normally put it up on this little area here where I put it. That's my spot. I know it's there. And I make sure that's done. You lose this, it's going to cost you money to replace it. These things that cost 10, 15 bucks to replace that little thing right there. So here it goes. So I have a Haywood. A uh, uh, filter over here it should tell you on the unit itself what filters you use so you know get your model number and when you go buy your filter you go ahead and um, get the one you need for your particular Haywood to your you know your pool distributor or Amazon or wherever you order it from I get mine through Amazon right now uh, the pool filter should last about two years okay yeah I wanted to come back here to explain to you a pool filter should give you two years of two years of life, and after two years, you might need to buy another filter. These filters can run for anything from you know fifty bucks to a hundred and something dollars, depending on the quality you buy. So you give you two years of life, but that life only two years if you do your proper maintenance. That means if you take out your filter every week and you clean it weekly. I clean my filter weekly, so clean it weekly, and you know other things you need to do monthly, other things you need to do every two weeks. But you should really do your pick. You know, there are other stuff every two weeks. But right now, we just doing the filter. So I clean my filter weekly. Normally weekend, Saturday, Sunday, pick a day. It takes 30 minutes. You take it out, and you, you clean it. That's all you need to do. So here it goes. 
Okay, so like I was saying, once you let out the pressure, once you let out the pressure by removing the, the little valve I told you, now you next thing you do is you twist this, okay? So I'll need two hands to twist this because it is tight. Yeah. So I'm gonna try to put the phone down, see if I can if I can do this. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna shut it off and I'm gonna loosen it a little bit. Okay, so I did loosen it and I'm coming back to the video. So now once it's loose, you need two hands basically to take this thing off. Because it is tight when you put it on. You gotta put it on tight, okay? Because it's a seal. All around it you have a seal and it has to seal tight. So this is a process, alright? Now the other thing you have in front of your foot filter here, as you know, is a pressure gauge. So this pressure gauge will go down to zero when you release all the pressure. When it's down to zero is when you, you should open it up, okay? So once you open it up, top comes off. The whole top comes off, okay? It just comes right off, you remove it, okay? Put that off to the side, and this is your filter. So it's inside here, okay? Once you pull your filter out, see that? That dirt? That's what we're gonna clean. I'm gonna clean this filter up because this filter needs cleaning. And this is my my filter looks like this at least once a week because I have trees and I have a lot of stuff residue. But this is what it looks like, so I clean it weekly. Sometimes every yeah weekly I clean it. So let's do that now. Okay, so once you remove your filter, I normally put it on a on a leveled area like a chair or something like that, and then you just shoot it with the water hose. Put it close to the water hose and you shoot it. Now, this filter is only about six months old. Um, this is every week I take it out every week is dirty if your pool is clean the filter is dirty so that's what's going on there okay so remember that if your pool is clean the filter is dirty if you brush your walls if you do everything you need to do in the pool and you you know pick up your leaves do whatever you got to do and you got that filter running that the pump running about eight hours a day at night it's not running but you know you get rain going in there you get all kind of stuff and you need to clean this so we're gonna start cleaning this filter now Okay, so this is my hose set up here, right on the side of my house, right? I got it set up right here, and it's real close to the filter. So I put the filter there, and this is where I do my job when I clean the filter. I take it over. The pump is on the other side of the house, so I just come over here and move it over here and do it. And um, what you need to do is, you know, have pressure on your water, and this is this is a lot of pressure here. So you know, you basically got to clean it. You're gonna, you know, you're gonna you're gonna brush it. You're gonna clean it. This would be, you could do this for, you know, 15, 20, 30 minutes until you feel it's good. And then you just go ahead and keep doing it. Rotate it, you know. Move it, rotate it, clean it. And just keep going through this process until it's all clean, okay? So, I'll get back to you in the video in a second. When to clean it up, okay? Just clean it good. I wanted to mention, you can see what I use. Um, it's not a typical water hose. This is a little different uh, tool to shoot water. And it's very basic, and this you can get it, pick it up for, you know, five, ten dollars. It's not that expensive, but it's good, you know, because you just, you know, you have, you have a lot of pressure. And what I do many times is you, you just push this inside, you see, inside the filter, and you get that dirt out. So, you know, if you have this type of tool, you push it inside, you're not going to damage it. You know, you just, you got to get that dirt out, so you have to get inside there. They do have other things they sell to do this. But this is the less expensive way to do it. So this is how I do it. It works good for me. Just, you could buy this stuff, set it up, and you don't have to buy it ever again. You just buy it once, okay? And do your maintenance on your filter, and it will last you a long time. So like I said, the more you dig in there, you know, the more dirt's going to come out. So you need to do this until you're satisfied. Okay, when you're satisfied with the clean, when, you know, dirt starts coming, you could do it for an hour, you could do it for 30 minutes, you could do it for 45 minutes, you could do it for two hours. You know, there's a lot of nooks and crannies in these filters, and the dirt hides everywhere. So, you know, what I normally do also is turn it over. You know, you take it, you can't do it this two hand, you just take it and turn it over, put it to the side, get a different angle, okay? You gotta put, turn it over. And then once in a while, just bang it on the ground too. Take it and bang it on the ground. A lot of things you need to do to loosen that dirt. You gotta loosen the dirt, you know? You loosen it and it keeps coming out. It'll keep coming out. You see in the chair, it got dirt everywhere. So you turn it over. You get a different angle. And you can see that dirt just keeps coming out. And I've been doing this for 20 minutes now. And this is a new filter, and this is how they behave. So don't think, you know, as long as it keeps working, the filter's good. As long as, you know, you're picking up dirt, it's working. But, like I said, there will be a time 
where you have to buy another one. You have to make an investment. This is my second filter, uh, my second filter in three years. So the first one came with the house. It wasn't that good. Um, immediately I had to buy a second one. I really didn't know much about maintenance. I didn't do a lot of maintenance on it. Good maintenance. So, you know, now I know more so my filter will last me longer, okay? So that's what you gotta do. Just as soon as you're comfortable, you stop. Okay, so the filter is clean now. I'm satisfied with it. So you need to do what you do when you're satisfied. Now everything goes in reverse now. So now you make sure you put it back in. Doesn't matter if it's upside down, right side up, it doesn't really matter. You put it in. Now the other part I forgot to mention, which I didn't mention, is on the filter here is a seal. A rubber seal, okay? So they sell a silicone for this seal. I'm not putting no silicone on because I have plenty on there. But normally, once a month, you'll put silicone on there, okay? So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Okay, currently I can't find my silicone bottle, so I can't show it to you, I have to look for it. Um, but what you do is you get the silicone, it's like a tube, and it's a, it's, a, it's a transparent clear gel, and you supply it to here, right here, all around. And you do this, not all the time, when you clean it. If you feel it, you see it's got, you know, it's, it's got gel in it, you don't have to do it. But only if it's too dry. The sun does dry it and the water does dry it. So you have to replace that, okay? So let's just assume you have silicone on there and everything is good. And now what you do, you put it back. You know, always put the clock facing forward. You just turn it. You turn this. You know, you hold it. You turn it. Keep it forward and you keep turning it. And you push it down and push it down on all four corners until it's sealed. That's what you do. You just keep turning it down, you know until it's sealed. So I'm going to do that, finish that, and we'll show you the ending. So once you get it on there, make sure it's nice and tight. You're going to see how snug it's going to be. You get in there tight, you go back to your little valve, which I put up here. Remember the little valve? Okay. And you just screw that little valve back in here. There's nothing else you really need to do as far as the filter goes. The filter's fine now. But there is one more thing you do need to do when you do the maintenance, okay? And that's here at the pump. See? So at the pump, you have to remove this top cap. It's a little hard, so what I do is I, I bang it a little bit, not too hard, a little bit. Okay, see? This cap comes off, and when this cap comes off, you gotta get it, wedge it out, but it does come off. <laughs> let, me get it, let me get it out of there, and I'll show you. Okay, so once you get your cap off, like I said, they're all different, so this is a new pump, they're all, it's a, you know, a little tight getting it out, but once it's out, you know, then you have here a little, uh, you also have a ring here, so be careful with that. And you have a filter that catches some, some, some excess larger pieces of leaves, so you get to clean this filter out, okay? Okay, I normally take my, uh, this is actually a basket, okay, so it's a pump basket that holds the leaves. So I normally take the basket, just go to the sink and just run it under water and pull the leaves out. I don't put it on the hose and nothing. It doesn't really get filled that much because I take all of the uh, big pieces, big leaves off um, with the net in the pool. That's what I do. So um, I just clean it off like this and that's what you need to do. Just clean it like this. And it's starting to rain now so I want to finish this video before the rain comes. So we'll try to lock it up, okay? Now, if you needed to put silicone, you put it on there, and you put this back the way you took it off. I normally try to keep my American flag to the front. I put it in the same area all the time. This is a Made in America pump. It's not a Haywood pump. It's a Made in America pump. I'm going to do this with two hands and just snap it back in there, but it's easy. Also, could use silicone. So, you just remember uh, to put silicone on that if it's necessary, okay? On most of these pumps, there's instructions. You see the direction, close and open. So look for those directions, and that's the direction you move it when you want to close it. So remember that, okay? That's the direction you move it. The other thing I wanted to mention is before you close it, make add water. This is a self-priming pump, but it works better when it's filled with water to the top. Um, so fill, fill it and add some water. Now what I normally do is just grab a bucket and grab some water out of my pool. And you just pour it in there. That's what you do. You just pour the water in. Get it to the top. Fill it up. Okay? Make sure that the basket, the hole of the basket, 
is towards the pipe, okay? This fits on the pipe. It should be a position it goes in, but people make mistakes, so sometimes they don't put it towards the pipe. And then what happens is um, you will not, um, it, it will clog going to the filter, okay? So then once you put it this on, you lock it on tight, okay? Do that now. Okay, so it's locked on tight, and you just do it by hand. You don't have to, you know, bang it or nothing like that like I did when I took it off. But sometimes, I do get a little hit. Just a little hit just to nudge and make sure it's tight. And then once all that's done, once you've done all your thing, guys, you've done your pool maintenance. So you go back here, you've done your filter maintenance. You go back here, you pop on your filter, pop it on. It's your prime itself. Priming means it takes in water and it starts working by itself. And in a little while, um, you'll be producing, um, uh, you'll be cleaning out your pool. That's what you'll be doing. Okay, guys? So after a few minutes, once it's primed, you'll hear a crazy noise, and then the water will be working like regular. So it'll be, there it goes. Pump is working good. Now hopefully the filter will pick up more dirt. So this is a good time to go brush your walls and do the other stuff. So I'll show you how to do all that in, uh, in a minute. If you're not doing that, you need to get a brush. You need to get a net. You need to get a pole. It looks something like this, guys. You get that. You make sure you get a net. It looks something like this. And you put that all, you know, you replace them when you need to do it. And this will give you pool lots of life. If you do the maintenance on it. So I'll show you that later. See I got some green there on the walls. So it's got to be clean, brushed. So I'll do that now. And hopefully make another video. Take care guys. Well I hope you got something from this video. My hair's out of control. It's drying up. So I'm going to just uh, shut it down. I hope you learned something how to clean the, um, the filter. And how to prime it. And do everything that I just showed you. This is vitally important for any pool. So you have a pool. This is what people ask me always. How do you keep it clean? Filter number one. I'll do other videos regarding what you, how you shock it and what you add to the pool and what you, other maintenance you do. But this is number one. Once you do this, you're good, and then you can go and do the other stuff, okay? I'll talk to you later. Don't forget to subscribe to my page. It's all good. Peace and love, everybody. Keep it real.